Hello guys, I'm Roger Wakefield, lead AP, the expert plumber, coming to you right here on YouTube Live and on Facebook Live. And this is a unique Saturday because this video is sponsored by Ferguson. Now, the cool thing about it is we teamed up with Ferguson because of everything that they do, not just for plumbers, but the communities that plumbers are in. So teaming up with them was a good thing for us. We were actually going to have a special guest in here today, but schedules kind of got messed up. But we're going to shoot a video this coming week about, well, and it's not this week, it's next week or later in the week. Anyway, we're shooting a video about heat pump water heaters. So I want to know, first of all, anybody who knows anything about heat pump water heaters, have y'all ever used them? Have you ever installed them? Because they're really fascinating to me because I just, look, I'm a lead AP, so I love the things that you can do to conserve energy, to make things more efficient. But I want to jump into the chat real quick. I want to say hello to number one, Sean Strong. How are you doing, brother? Uh, Tony's Gabagool says, LOL, for real. Why tease this four days in advance? Well, man, the good thing is, Tony, what we do is we schedule it in advance. And, you know, hey, I love that you put a comment in there, but we do. We we put we schedule it four days in advance, and it gives you reminders. So that way we get a few more people in here. Oh, boy, that jumped on me real far. Uh, Sean Strong, good to see you as always. I hope you're doing well. So it's taking a short road trip to build a ramp for Grandma. Man, good for you. Grandma, I guess, lives in your area then. Klaus the Krusty Player, hello. Good to see you in here. Brandon, the plumber from Phoenix, Arizona, and we're already over 50. So yeah, do me a favor and drop in here where you're listening from and what it is you do. Are, are you a plumber? Uh, just what what is it that you do? Because I get a lot of people in here that aren't plumbers. I get people in here that do a lot of different things. I had to turn some volume down. I, had, I was checking with, man, we got a new mixing board, and I love it. Uh, but the cool thing about it is, I was playing with some videos earlier to see what it would do. It's kind of nice to have stuff, you know, when you do have a sponsor where, where, where you can just say, hey, guys, look, this video is sponsored by Ferguson. Okay, I love stuff like that. And it's gadgets that make us look cool, make us look neat, but it also lets us have kind of fun in here. So anyway, Brandon, good to see you in here. But yeah, everybody, do me a favor. Put where you're from, what it is you do in the chat. I'd love to see it. Ferguson keeps breaking the tubs order. Man, that, that's a pain. What kind of tub is it you're ordering that they're breaking, brother? Uh, Kel L says, hey, everyone, is it better to have a plumber install a pilot assembly kit for a gas water tank or an HVAC tech? How long does it take to install? You know, Kel, it, it normally doesn't take very long. Uh, I would rather have a plumber do it because that's the appliances that they work on normally more than HVAC people. Uh, but to be honest, it's something that HVAC tech could probably handle plumbers. What, what do y'all think? I, I, I love getting a plumber to do it though. Robbie says, hello from St. Augustine. Uh, Miguel Colon, how are you doing? Hello from Puerto Rico. Good to see you. Ray Baring, Barring, Baring. Good morning from California. I know my, between my eyes and the fact that my throat's been giving me problem. Man, be lucky I got close. Uh, Miguel's from Puerto Rico. Good. Uh, Ray from California. 
Zura TV, how are you doing? Good to see you in here. NY Boiler and Air Conditioning Repair. I'm going to be willing to just kind of guess you're probably in New York. Uh, but, you know, hey, you never know. All right, let's see. Let's see where we get to. Got Robert Zuzu, St. Augustine, saw that. Uh, man, there's somebody that's repeating. Brandon the Plumber, how are you doing? Good to see you in here. And NY Boilers from WEPA. Bacon Sunday says, I say this in the most reverent way possible. Audio and video doesn't quite line up, and I'm having Kung Fu flashbacks and love the implication. Uh, man, man, the, the audio and video should be good. I'm trying to look at it over here on the live stream, but I can't tell because I'm not listening. I say, cover your eyes while you're driving on the road. Okay, I'm joking, but man, it should be lining up. We normally don't have any problem at all with that. So anybody else, if you see a problem with, with it not lined up, do me a favor and let me know just because I am curious. Uh, let me see here. Got Denver Charboy in the house. Good to see you. Ah, Louis the Boiler Man. Now I know who's in here. Brother, what's going up? Good to see you in here as always. And Louis, I mean you met in Miami. I mean, if, am I correct there? Because I believe that's exactly who you are. Uh, Robert Zuzi, St. Augustine, Florida. Uh, Larry McDuff, Florida Handyman. Brandon Romaine, Maintenance up in Ohio. And I love this because we have all kinds of different people watching. And the thing that we're really talking about today is why you need to get in the trades. And it's funny because people tell me all the time, says, Roger, you hate maintenance men, don't you? And the truth is, no, I don't. There's not enough plumbers to take care of everything that the people need taken care of, meaning homeowners, business owners, stuff like that, and multifamily businesses or even big businesses. But multifamily dwellings, plumbers don't have time to get to all that. When I knew that I first wanted to get into trades, I got into plumbing in high school. Then after high school, I actually tried to get a job as a maintenance man. I wanted, I wanted to do it so I could learn about it, but also knew that I'd have a place to stay because, you know, at the time they gave you an apartment. So, man, nothing at all against maintenance men. Danny Thiel says from Detroit, Michigan area, journeyman plumber. Howdy, everyone. Good to have you in here. Robert Stevens, Long Island, New York plumber apprentice. Fantastic. Uh, God, what's the, what's the name? Fur Plumbing? Aren't they up in Long Island, Robert? Uh, man, I think so. D David Hill, if I'm Dave Hill, if I'm not mistaken. <clears throat> Rusty Shackelford says, "Why do draw? Oh, we do drywall, and we got some guys from trade school, and they're so bad." Uh, they're free, but I don't think they're helping. <clears throat> Rusty, here, here's the deal. And, and look, I used to teach first-year apprentices in the union. You've got to teach people to do things the way you want them done. You've got to be very clear about it, very precise about it. Show them probably more than once, but you'll get it. Eventually, hopefully, they'll get it. Uh, Alex says, hello, Roger. Alex, the plumber from Amsterdam. Good to see you in here. Eddie Kamara from Massachusetts, also a plumber. Lubbock, Texas, journeyman plumber. Man, I got something I'm going to talk about here in a minute. Because, and, and actually, I'll probably read it because I think Texas is going above and beyond to help get people into the trades. And they're doing it. I had, had to move some, somebody blocked my footrest. Uh, they are doing it by implementing plumbing in high school. Now, any of y'all that have any municipalities, cities, school districts, anybody doing anything like that to help get people in the trades, do me a favor and let me know because I am really curious. The reason being, Texas is not just putting the system in place, they are also, for the message I got yesterday, they're coming up with $3 million to give to Texas schools to help them implement it and help them put things in place. So, man, I was just blown away. 
imagine what a hundred thousand dollars could do for say 30 schools a hundred thousand dollars to help them set things up to teach plumbing i just man i think it's great uh to jane dorsey says hi from georgia plan on being a plumber good for you and and, and look why you need to get in the trades and this is something that i talk about quite often uh any of y'all that uh, i mean you you, you want to see a lot of the different stuff i'm doing i'm going to see if i can find the link for it uh let me see 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 uh oh it's from i'll find it on here i will put a link in here i want to show y'all something cool and I normally don't do this, but I know it is what it is. Anyway, I'm going to tell y'all why I think right now is the best time to get into the trades. Uh, and there's different reasons, but money is a big thing for everybody. Everybody who talks about getting in the trades, anytime they talk to me about it, they always say, where can I make the most money? And the truth is you can make the most money doing what you enjoy. Okay. Uh, let me make my little piece here. I'm trying to sign in because I, I want to show y'all something cool. All right. So there it is right there. I'm going to put a link in here because I want to show y'all some different things, but here's a link to my TikTok. And if you go over to my TikTok right below it, it'll take me a second to find it. But I want to show y'all what what, I, what I'm talking about here. Right below the profile, you've got the link to the stand store, Roger Wakefield. I want y'all to go over and check it out because I talk about getting in the trades. I've got I've got courses over there. I've got merch over there. I've got all kinds of cool things. But this is some new stuff that we're doing. So I wanted to show y'all that, and then I want to show y'all one other thing because it, as I grow, man, I, I love telling people about it. Uh Oh man, the way they got this thing set up, I can't even get in here and check my mail now. Maybe I can. I tell my people quit jacking with my desktop. Quit messing. Yep, I can't even check my mail over here. Well, uh, I don't know who changed my 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 screen or anything, but I used to be able to get in here and do stuff. Can't do that anymore. But the cool thing about it is I'm building a new website. Uh, but it's to help get information out there. How many people in here right now, and I'm going to look over here at the live, the live stream. How many people right now want to get into the trades? How many of y'all are in here and think, you know what, this is something that I want to do. And I'm looking over at the live stream here just to see, because I am bouncing back and forth. Daniel, New York City plumber, good to see you. Rick Schroeder, 38-year plumber from Michigan. Rick, what part of Michigan are you in? I used to have to go up to Ypsilanti to Washtenaw whenever I was an instructor in the union. Got Viral Hub Media. Uh, sedated We just started plumbing. Tajane Dorsey. Okay, so here's here's why this is the best time to get in. There are about, I'm, I'm going to say half a million plumbers in the nation. In Texas, and this is where I have the data from, in Texas, the average age for a master plumber is 57 or 58 years old. So what I'll tell you, in the next five to six years, those guys are going to be wanting to retire. So that is your average age. So average is the median. So half the plumbers in Texas in the next five or six years are going to be ready to retire. That leaves a lot of younger plumbers, but not near as many. Imagine seven years from now, if we have half as many plumbers as we have right now. Say everybody does retire at 65. Anybody getting in right now into plumbing and learning to be the very best. And you've got to come in with that attitude. You've got to come in and say, look, I want to be the very best apprentice. I want to be the very best plumber. I want to be the very best foreman and superintendent. You can make as much money as you want to make. 
And I promise you that. In five or six years, with that attitude, you're going to be leading the pack. You're going to be one of the better plumbers in your area, and you're going to be making whatever kind of money you want to make. And I truthfully think five years from now, it's $100 an hour on the check. And I really do. Scott Nichols of South Jersey, trying to become a plumber. I haven't been able to find a company willing to let me prove myself. Scott, one of the things that I teach in my course is that interview process. You've got to understand when you come in and interview, that company is looking for one thing from you. And you have to let them know that you've got it. Whether it's the attitude, whether it is the willing to, willingness to learn. I had a guy go to my website the other day and, and sign up for a 15-minute consultation. And we talked about the interview process. And it blew his mind. He, he said, Roger, I've never thought about it like that. You know, we go in thinking, okay, look, I'm looking for a job. They've got one open. They're going to pick me. It doesn't always work that way. Matter of fact, it normally doesn't. You've got to know what they're looking for. And you learn that from asking certain questions. So once you get in and get that job, Scott, I'm telling you, man, that I love this trade. Otis Bogue says commercial kitchen equipment repair, South Dakota. Now, I love that because I used to do a lot of big commercial work and I love doing the big commercial kitchens and to get guys that can come in and, and weld stainless and make that thing look beautiful is always fantastic. Andrew Lake says, I work in restoration, sewer mold and all. Uh, I appreciate all plumbers, saves us a ton of time. So, ton of time to then get busy getting nasty man and you know what plumbers get nasty too but dude you're right you got a you got a tough one there sean says zachary i drove up here in nebraska to lubbock pick up a jeep once never making that drive straight through again uh mr highway 03 says residential service in columbus ohio do we have anybody in here in the atlanta area uh and i'm just curious and I'll tell y'all why later. Danny Phil says, audio and video is good on my end. Hank B says, we're square. Duke says, Bay Area plumber here. What are your thoughts on heat pumps taking over for gas on the West Coast? I think eventually heat pumps are going to take over, not just on the West Coast, all the way around. I used to be, or used to be. I'm an HVAC technician too. I, I took the course, got my license, did everything. There's heat in the air every day. And man, to me, that is just, that's something that blew my mind. Cause I thought, wait, when you go outside and it's freezing, you're telling me there's heat in there. And they're like, yeah, there is. I think that it's gonna, it's gonna change a lot. That's why I'm really interested in learning more about this heat pump water heater. Good, Robert. Thank you very much. Sound is good. It's fine. Just watch the video. Okay. So we're good in here. Thank you, guys. I appreciate that. Nate says, starting my apprenticeship with a residential service company on Monday. Anything I should be prepared for? <clears throat> Nate, here's what I'll tell you. And, and, yeah, there's a lot to be prepared for. And any of you other ones that have great advice for Nate, please put it in here. Because my first piece of advice is, number one, come in with the attitude of learning. Okay? Keep your mind open. Me and my son were talking just the other day about the people he loved working with. He said, Dad, I loved working with the people that were hard to work for, that nobody else wanted to work for. And he said, I went into it with that mindset of, I'm going to learn something. And, you know, an old guy, I'll tell you, look, I don't want you to do it your way. I want this done my way. Take the time to learn their way. It can be really, really good. Smoke and Mirror says, I've learned a lot from you. Just switched from electrician to plumber. A lot more money. It's to me, it's not always about the money, but the fact that I love plumbing, I truthfully think is why I was able to make the, the amounts of money I did when I worked for other people. There was one time in the union, believe it or not, I was making double scale, meaning at the time scale was $25 an hour. And I think I was making 51, 5105, something like that. You can make whatever kind of money you want. Louis, I thought so. Man, thank you for jumping in here, brother. I do appreciate it. 
John says, what's up, Louie? Duke, for those comfortable, for those comfortable sharing salaries, comment below where you work and what you make. I'd be curious how pay is across the nation. <clears throat> I say if you're going to do that, also put in you know, union or non-union. I know just from me being a business owner here and also being in the union for years, I think union scales up around 38 right now, which is 19 bucks an hour for an apprentice starting out. But you've also got a package where you've got insurance, benefits, things like that. I believe that's over 50. And, and, and that's also part money going into your pension and stuff. So there's good stuff there. Says, but, but I also know service techs that make over 200. So very interesting. Robert says, what do you have to say for my lead underground rough guy not hitting the wall? Mm. Lead underground rough guy. Robert, I'll tell you, I, I've done underground roughs for resident, well, residential and commercial. Dude, you got to be good at it. Uh, it's something that I did right before I got out of the union. I became a quality control manager and actually ran a total station. And I think that's the future of plumbing, learning how to get in, how to use the tools that make us perfect every single time. And, and I think it'll get there. Louis is up in Long Island. Rick Schroeder says, don't tell the apprentice to do something that you won't show him. You know, Rick, I, I like that. And uh, another thing is, if you're that apprentice, and Hank, I'm not eating candy. I'm eating a cough drop because my throat has just been jacked up. I see it. And, and it's the last one I got. So somebody took all the other ones. So there, there won't be any more, I promise. Louis says, what's up, Sean Strong? Yeah, what, what, what I was going to say there is, is Rick, also, as an apprentice, don't be afraid to tell a journeyman, I haven't done that yet. I Meaning if he hands you a port of ad, don't be afraid to look at him and say, look, I've never used this tool. Will you show me how? I think it'll keep people out of trouble and keep them safe. Hello to Sean. Plumber from Arizona here. Spicy Tuna says, I'm 30 years old. Wasn't even thinking at all to be in the trades in the USA, originally from Europe. Florida is much easier to start plumbing and company is great in teaching me. That's another good thing as an apprentice getting in, try to find a company that will educate you. I know that sounds weird, but I would find out if they're in the union or if they're a part of PHCC, is there any training available that they're going to give you that's going to help you learn and grow? Good stuff. Thank you, Spicy Tuna. Daniel Torres says, I went to vocational public high school in my city for an HVAC program. Daniel, I want to tell you, just this week, I went up to, or down, went down to Belton, Texas for plumbing day. And they have almost 30 students in a training class there where they learn a lot of different things. They learn a lot of different traits that can be, study electrical, they can study carpentry, masonry, plumbing. The instructor there, uh, Michael Carrillo, is really good about, and many the kids said, look, if we don't know anything, he will find out and he will teach us. So, man, I just thought that was cool. They want you to come and tell them, look, what, what do you want to do? What do you want to be when you grow up? And they'll find a way to teach you things that'll help you. Dude, to me, that's phenomenal. Uh, Daniel, what, what city were you in, just out of curiosity? Dennis Peatman says, in Maryland, we teach trades in high school, uh, learn carpentry in high school. D Dennis, man, look, I had never seen a program like I saw the other day in Belton. And, and I say that, Naaman Forest here in the Garland Independent School District teaches plumbing and HVAC. Their shop is phenomenal. But, man, just to see this class where you could come in and say, look, I want to be a welder. You're going to say, okay, you know what, we'll, we'll find a way to help you become a welder. I thought that was really neat. Lou made music video with his buddy, Danny G. Look at you. 
Spicy Tuna, they are giving me one year to be trained and will get me on a truck next year. Dude, that ain't, that ain't bad. I know companies in California that will put you in a truck in nine weeks. So you can learn a lot if you try. Robert Stevens says Long Island has a program called BOSIS, which offers trade education to high school students, usually at zero cost through the school district. Smoke and Mirror says I work for my dad and make three to five K on pop burst jobs. Uh, dig jobs, I make one to five K a week. A lot of money in this trade. What I would ask you, Smoke and Mirrors, is what, man, what, what, what tools do y'all use for pop bursting? What brand do you use? Anything like that. That's something I'd love to study and look at. And, and, and also tell me where you're located. Uh, I think that's really cool. ZC says NEISD in San Antonio has CTEC building trades. Here's the deal. And look, Texas, like I said, I think Texas is starting to lead the way. Uh, okay. I'm going to find this deal because I want y'all to hear what all Texas is doing. Here we go. Uh, all right, I'm going to have to make this big so I can see it. All right, Matt, and, and you know, I'm probably not going to go and through and read this whole thing. Uh, it's, it's, it's a whole page, but it says the JET program has awarded more than 300 grants to education partners and provided over $95 million in projects, creating a direct pathway to high demand occupations in their regions. Applicants for the next round of JET training, go to TEA, get information there. Learn more about applying for funding. Visit uh, texas.gov slash jet. Texas Work Commission's, uh, Texas Workforce Commission Outreach and Employer. And they're, they're, they're putting a lot, making, getting a lot of money available to invest in the schools to help them get into the path to teach plumbing. And look, I, I'm I'm happy to say that I stood on the steps of the state capitol when we were fighting for our license a few years ago. It's a lot better now because we're not fighting for it. We're, we're actually doing well. And it's good to see the Texas State Board, Frank Denton, everybody else on the board, Lisa Hill, stepping up and doing amazing things down in Austin to make sure that we get things done. And I do. I just I love seeing it. Spicy Tuna says you don't need a license in Florida to start being a plumber. And Spicy Tuna, you don't in California either. <clears throat> you literally go to work for somebody. They train you. When that company owner feels you're good enough to be a plumber, he can send you out as a plumber. Then you're a revenue source. And at that point, you should be making more money. And guys, I'm sorry about my throat. I've been fighting it for a while. <clears throat> want to figure out what it is, though. Spicy tennis is, which is nice. No need for journeyman test. Now, let, let me ask you all this. Because I love the fact that Texas has a journeyman exam and it's not an easy test. I think it's actually phenomenal. Texas is one of the hardest states to get your license in. But man, it means that if you've got somebody that's got a plumbing license comes out, they're normally pretty good. They normally know what they're doing. Would y'all rather work in a state that has a plumbing license. Let me see. I think I can do this over here. Uh, I, I know this is All right, so I, and look you can put your answer in here but it says ooh, I want to fix that okay 
says, would you rather have a license in your state? Why or why not? And I really want to know, and many, it lets you put in whatever answer you want to put in, and I'll go back through and look at it. But, all right, now I lost my chat. All right, so I don't know how to get, oh, wait, maybe I do. I don't know how to get back to my normal chat now, but you know what? Hey, we're, we're doing okay. Uh, Dennis Peaton says, Roger Wakefield, look up Skills USA, work with trade schools program throughout the country. Dennis, I was kind of introduced to Skills USA the other day. Uh, so that, that was pretty neat. Okay, I bet I can do it. There we go. All right, I'll jump back over into the questions while I go and see who I'll answer it. I found my way to get back over into the chat. But look, would you rather there be a license in your state or not? And why or why not? Um, you know, I like that Dennis says, says look, or, or I'm sorry, Spicy Tuna said, no need for a journeyman test. Me as an owner, I want to know the guy can pass the journeyman exam. I had a plumber try to come to work for me. And we actually hired him, got him a temporary license because he had plumbed for years in California. And he came to work. And man, we kept scheduling him tradesman exams and he couldn't pass it. Finally, after three times, I'm like, dude, I, I can't use you here. Uh, miss him, but it, it, it is what it is. Uh, sure can't use him anymore. If you can't pass a plumbing exam, uh, I'm kind of worried about the work that you're out doing. <clears throat> uh, Denver, I don't have a link today. Uh, we, we didn't set up. Uh, a Google form. So man, just ask your question in here. I'm trying to get through them. I'm fixing to have to speed it up. I know I'm getting further behind. So I, I will work on that. Scott Nichols says I'm utilizing words. Low. Oh, I love this. Says I'm utilizing Lowe's track to trades programs for training. Guys, there's a lot of different things out there that can help you learn the trades. You know, one, one of the ones I like, and this video in case you didn't know it, today's video is sponsored by Ferguson. And we teamed up with Ferguson because of, man, everything they do. It's not just for plumbers and the communities that we live in, but it's to educate plumbers. Go to ferguson.com, check it out, see what they've got in there, because I'm telling you, you can learn a lot just on the information they have. And if you're not in their Facebook group, that's another good place to go to ask questions and learn things. So. It makes it kind of cool. All right. Viral Hub Media. Okay, so yeah, these are the people wanting to get in. All right, and I've already mentioned them. Uh, I'm going to kind of also do some DIY on the side, so enjoy this channel. Socrates, thank you very much. Scott Nichols says me. Rick Schroeder says 50 miles north of Ypsilanti, Fenton, Genesis County. I, I tell you what. Rick, one thing I love up there is going down to Ann Arbor, eating, a, I think it's called Saul's or Solly's, the Italian place, and then there's a seafood place next door. Man, my problem was I only got up there once a year. <clears throat> so when I walked into Saul's, ordered the lasagna and the fettuccine Alfredo because they didn't give half portions or do, do anything like that. And they'd always look at me and they'd say, sir, that's two meals. I'm like, I know, I'm going to be here a little while, but it was really good. Viral Hub Media says, just saving up to place my kid in daycare, then plan on applying for an apprenticeship. Good for you. Brandon, the plumber, you, you're right. Uh, and I like what you put it. It's a six-figure career easily. And, and I'm going to say something here. It's I'm not going to say it's easy, but it's easy if that's what you want it to be. If you're willing to learn, look, to me and Sean Strong, I'll tell you, Residential trades people, the service plumbers, man, we, we, we're we the heroes. We wear capes. We go in. We take care of people. And it, it's huge. You can make a good living doing that just by going in and looking at people's plumbing and telling them what all they got wrong. And if you present it the right way and give them great options, you'll be the one who fixes it. Spicy Tennis has started May this year. Happy currently. Try, try to be happy all you can get. Uh, in the Tampa Bay area, spicy tuna. That's fantastic. Uh, look, I every now and then I fly into Tampa and go up to uh, Sarasota. 
I feel like I live in Florida part time. Here lately, I've been in Key West, Miami, Fort Lauderdale. I was supposed to be in West Palm Beach, uh, Orlando, Miami. I feel like I know my way around down there. Colton says, I love this content. Happy Saturday. Colton, thank you for being here. Those of y'all that love my videos, Colton's the editor. Uh, if not, it's the guy that sits next to him. Uh, not really. I'm joking. Uh, great to have you in here, brother. Uh, see, dated we says Georgia plumbing and loving the trade. Uh, I'm actually headed to Georgia later today. <clears throat> I'll be having dinner in either Atlanta or Alpharetta this evening. Bernardo Aguilar says, here are DC, MD, <coughs> VA plumber, WSSC journeyman. Blessings, Roger. You are my, don't know what that is, but I hope it's a hero or something like that. Bernardo, thank you. Uh, so DC, Maryland, and Virginia. You know, think about it, guys. Some plumbing companies can cover three states. Here in Texas, we can't even cover the entire Metroplex company I'm at. Now I can, but, you know, we can't as a small plumbing company. I remember a company coming to me asking me if I wanted to do anything on the radio. And I'm like, why? And I looked at the map, and we covered about 1%, 1% of the Metroplex. And I'm like, yeah, there's no point in advertising. We'd have to tell 99% of the calls we can't get to y'all. Jacob Fern says, I live in Michigan, Metro Detroit, Wayne County, considering trades instead of completing my college degree. Jacob, I hear this all the time. One thing I can tell you about getting in the trades, <clears throat> you get out debt free because you don't get out. You continuously learn. But the cool thing is, while a college student is going to school for about four years and going into debt anywhere from, say, fifty dollars to $150,000, $200,000, somewhere around in there, somebody getting in the trades, and let's say you join the union and you go through an apprenticeship training program. In that five years, you're going to earn about $300,000. Would you rather earn three hundred thousand in five years, or would you rather get out of college and owe somebody a hundred thousand? Guys, man, to me the 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 choice isn't real difficult. You you decide, hey, this is what I want to do, and this is how I want to do it. So, Jacob, great opportunity. Uh, God, I wish I could find that other page that she gave me. I got sent a great link. I, I'm building a new web page. And man, I was really hoping to show y'all kind of what it looks like just getting started because it was just cool. And I think I found it. Somebody got into my mail here and, and changed my account or, or my screen anyway. So my, my normal things aren't working. Uh, I want to show you all this. If I can, I want to see. It, it may not let me. Okay. And actually, it is. I want to, man, I want to show you all this. I just don't know if I can show you all this without. Everybody having the link and, and being able to go in and do anything. All right, I'm going to go ahead and just try it. I'm going to show it to you and see what we can do. Okay, that didn't change anything. Oh, here we go. Uh, okay, that's not the way. You guys, I, I know this is not very exciting. But I think I got it right here. Mm. All right, so this right here is, and I want to roll up. So this is what my, my main page looks like. 
And I just want to get y'all's thoughts. Just tell me, hey, I like it. Uh, I think I think this is cool. It, there's links to my YouTube. There's the link to the free master class that we're doing. Uh, we're working on a podcast right now, which I think is going to be phenomenal. Uh, this is what it's all about. Uh, I've taught hundreds of students going through the the trades, and this is what all we're about. I'm a speaker. I uh, am opening up the Trades Academy where we're teaching people professionalism. We're not teaching them the trade. We're teaching them how to be the best tradesman, how to get in the trades and become the very best tradesman, how to start their own company, and how to use networking and social media to grow it. Leak Pro, those of y'all that don't know, I invested in Leak Pro. I think that's the best leak detection, the best leak detection equipment that there is. Uh, the Texas Whiskey Society, which is something that we're starting, which is going to actually donate money to the trades and give scholarships and stuff like that. And I am the regional partner for Master Networks in Texas. We show you how to make $80,000 in the trades. Man, there's links to our merch. There, there is all kinds of cool stuff in here. Let's see what the merch looks like, because that's one of my favorite parts. Look at these shirts that we're doing. Uh, Tradesman Built America. That's what we're all about. And then build your legacy. Guys, it's up to y'all. You can build whatever you want to build. You can make it whatever you want to make it. Uh, that link that I put in earlier to TikTok will take you over here if you want to see it. And I think that I want to see one more thing. Uh, yeah, we got the podcast coming soon. Which if y'all know anybody that you think, hey, you know what? You ought to have this person on your podcast. Uh, man, send me a message. Let me know. And as y'all can see, that this is all brand new. This is my team. Uh, there's Amber Mendoza. She's in here somewhere. There's Lily Bet. Uh, so these are the people that help do everything for me and put me together. They make me, they make me look good. Uh, but this is what we're about. And, and that's why stuff like this is really cool to me. Let's see. I don't remember if they have anything. I don't guess so. Not yet. Yeah, we don't, we don't have anything there yet. Leak Pro, I think that we've got set up up here. If I'm not mistaken, you can actually, yeah, you can actually go down here. Let's see if we got the Whiskey Society up here yet. A country club by tradesmen for tradesmen. We we're working on some neat stuff. Anyway, I, I hope that hope that y'all like it. Uh, I'm going to jump back over to YouTube here and just see. Uh Got a few people saying that's pretty cool. All right. All right, so I'm going to jump through the questions here. Man, I'm going to start speeding up. That way I can get a little further along. Are there any plumbers in the chat from Ohio? I don't know. If you are, let her know. Let Kel, Kel L know. Sean Strong says, Denver, I'm not sure if there is a link. No, there's not. Uh, Cornell Layla says, been a city inspector for 24 years. Man, what what state? You don't have to tell me what city, but what state, please. So, Daddy, we work plumbing at in that every day in Atlanta every day. So, Daddy, we I'll, I'll be I'll be having dinner in Atlanta somewhere tonight. Happy Saturday, go TCU. That's right. The Horn Frogs are competing against K State for the Big Twelve Championship. Man, did y'all see USC get knocked off last night? Man, Utah looked good. Don't know if y'all are. Oh. I'll stop sharing this. How do I do that? Let's go to right here. There we go. Uh, yeah, so I'll get rid of that and that and that. And now I'm back here. All right, so that will go away and I'm bigger, so I'm looking good. Uh, Sean, is there a problem? I just saw... So I posted something. If you, if you got a problem, let me know. Uh, so I've even got my phone just seeing if I got any text messages. I'm checking. All right. Back over in here. Uh, Canada below 40. God, if y'all are below 40, it is nuts. It's supposed to get up to, I think, 70 here today. If you're enjoying the stream, there you go. Super, uh, 
not bots taking care of me. Jonathan says, hey, Roger, I'm a residential service plumber out of Atlanta. Fantastic. Okay, so Jonathan, I, I think you and, God, who was it? Uh, somebody else. Oh, sedated we. Man, what is the best steak in Atlanta? Uh, Atlanta or Alpharetta? I always ask because <clears throat> I love steak. I love bourbon. I will be having both in Atlanta later, or Alpharetta one. Dan Pedersen says all skilled trades are badly needed nationwide. The youngsters need to know this. And college usually doesn't mean better money or any jobs. And, brother, you are correct. Colton, all over it there. Uh, go Frogs. And I'm going to see. I was going to see if I could see a live score here. Maybe not. I bet I can do it this way. All right. We'll just kind of keep up with it over here, or maybe, maybe not. Man, they ain't liking me today. Unfix that. Uh, so, anybody in Atlanta, please let me know what is worth doing or what's worth going to dinner for all right tcu seven k-state zero good to know all right dan says local state and federal government jobs great union pay uh benefits and pension look just because you get in the trades doesn't mean you're going to be in a residential truck or on a commercial job forever there's like you said government jobs available there there's college jobs available. There's so many things that are available. It can be amazing. Jeremy Case says, Roger, I'll be going into trade school to be a plumber in a couple of years. Is there anything I could learn to better prepare myself for trade school? Jeremy, you're, you're, you're there. Man, jumping in conversations like this, watching it, we're going to do this every Saturday for the next two years, at least. You can learn a lot. And then go in and watch the videos and not just my channel. There's some other good plumbers out there. Look at them, watch them, see what you can learn, and, and man, pay attention. Boy, that didn't work very well. Pay attention, and man, you will learn and grow. Christopher Rito says, when my two boys asked me why I became a contractor instead of finishing college, my response was simple. Even doctors need a bathroom. Isn't that the truth? Union Journeyman Long Island makes around 60 an hour. So guys, that and, and Robert, I'm assuming that's on the check. So if you're making 60 an hour, that means your total package is probably about 80, 85 an hour. If I'm right, just please put it in the comments and let me know. Duke says, I'm non-union in the Bay Area, two years in, 30 an hour, and bonuses on top with benefits. Love the trades. <coughs> Danny Thiel says, yep. Speaking facts, Roger, my first foreman was a huge jerk, super hard to work for, but my thoughts on him aside, he made us a solid group of guys. And Danny, here's what I like. Look, I, I've worked for what most people that ever knew him would call one of the hardest engineers to work for out at Texas Instruments. But man, if you were just quiet and paid attention and learn, that guy would teach you everything. And I love working with people like that. <laughs> Happy Saturday, Master Plumber, big follower and fan from Gilbert, Arizona. Just got here recently, have no experience at all in plumbing, but really interested. Can I have your advice? Man, I give it out here all day long, at least for an hour or so. And we may get out here a little early. I know it's almost 12. Uh, man, I got to get on a plane this afternoon. I need to eat. I need to do a lot of things. And no, I wasn't. Jeremy in Western Nebraska doing service plumbing, 24 an hour. Uh, Dan Peterson says, Mike Rowe of Dirty Jobs has many skilled trade school scholarships. Let the kids know. I think, man, I think most of them do know. He's out there. Hank B, probably a cough drop. At least that's the story he'll tell. Well, uh, you know what? I, I can tell you that's what it was, but... There are no more. 
Like I said, I got the last one. Rusty Shackleford says, what do you think? Get the apprentice to get the board stretcher. Uh, yeah, or the pipe stretcher, anything like that. I, I, trust me, brother, I have seen and heard them all. I feel like the pay as a fresh year apprentice is not great. I make minimum wage, which is sort of crap. Uh, in Denver, you know, how long have you been doing it? Uh, it may start out like that. Robert Stevens says the total package is actually around 110 an hour. Man, I love that. <clears throat> Denver, they may start out at minimum wage until they see what you can do. Man, all I can say is show them. All right. Yeah, Sean, Sean says we've talked about this. Uh, always ask questions. A good teacher will appreciate that. Christopher, you are right. Never says, Sean, I have to buy my own tools, making minimum wage. It's hard to get by. It is, guys. But but look, when, when I first started out, I worked three jobs. I was a plumber's apprentice during the day. Then at night, I either attended bar or worked at an arcade place. And then on the weekends, I built fences and redwood decks. I knew how much money I needed to make. Then as I started making more money, I could give up some of the work that I wanted to give up. So it wasn't bad. Don says, Dan says, retired private, private ambulance union paramedic for AMR here. $100,400 my last year. Uh, $80,000 plus for the last 10. Guys, you, there's money to be made out there. Pick what career you want, what job you want. Russ says, what do you think about sending the apprentice to get you? Yeah, I know. I saw it. Anyone have any suggestions on places to learn? Because I've been looking for trade schools online in both Florida and Texas. I, I would check out PHCC. Check out the union. Uh, I've got a video about becoming a union plumber. It'll tell you what unions are in what areas. You can click on the links and, and, and get there and find what you're looking for. Brooklyn. Daniel, good to have you in here. Dan Peterson says, first responders and nursing medical staff. Very needed nationwide. And th Dan, the, the, the thing is, man, everything is needed nationwide. I don't know what it is. I guess the government's got too many people that they're just sending checks to where people don't want to work. Everybody needs people really, really bad. Happy Saturday, Master Plumber, big fan and follower from Arizona. Kindly advise me. Man, you, you, you're, you're in the right spot. Uh, really interested in the plumbing trade. However, I have tried to look for employment. You'll, you'll get there, man. Well, I'm way behind. Cody Peach says, man, love your videos. I'm not sure if you've talked about it, but there are also plumbing companies that are primarily drain cleaning, uh, and you can be in your own truck with, within a couple of weeks. You know, in a lot of places you can. In Texas, you've still got to be a registered drain cleaner. So, uh, man, I get it. Sean Strong says, I spent $900 on tools my first month as an apprentice making $10 an hour. I wouldn't recommend that, but I would recommend when starting out, buying the tools you need when you need them and not before. Amen. This is a friend and his son own a plumbing business and keep up with the demand. Look, if, if you're a plumber and you're a master plumber, if I was a master plumber in Texas and wanted to open my own business today, I would open a one man truck and make about three, $400,000 a year. It'd be easy to do. Uh, you've still got to do the the insurance and different things, but man, you can make a great living just working by yourself. Now you can invest that money in a business and keep growing it and do good, but that's a great way to start. Frederick says non-union Washington second year, 20 bucks an hour. And that's right about where you'd be in Dallas. Really close. Dan says TSA can't find nearly enough people. Easy written test. And hiring process for a great, great federal job. Uh, my son-in-law has been supporting my daughter and their children well for eight years. She's a stay-at-home mom. Miss Amber Mendoza in the house. Good to see you as always. Danny Phil says Michigan recently re-implemented the practical portion of the journeyman exam. So two tests, one written, one practical. I'm a fan of the re-implementation. Man, I love to see people taking a test. It lets you find out. Do they know what they're doing or not? Uh, okay, don't ask 
the 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 question to the thing up there is not for y'all to ask me questions. It's for y'all to ask for you to answer the question I asked you guys. Dan Patterson says, uh, bumping great respect from pl for plumbers, be a skilled tradesman, get honest dirt on your hands, be an example of a true man, taking care of your family. Merry Christmas. Amen. Guthrie Hondo Frank says, people will argue with me all day that an irrigation specialist is not the same as a plumber. Well, and, and I'm going to tell you, it's not the same. It does. Y'all do a lot of the same work. You use a lot of the same materials. Uh, ir irrigation doesn't have to worry as much about cross connections, uh, setting fixtures, you know, flow design. I mean, you do to an extent. Look, I, I think y'all are still a trade, and I think you're a daggum good trade. But I do think it's different than plumbers, and, and people do need to understand that. In Texas, I can get my irrigation license as a plumber, but an irrigation person cannot become a plumber just because they've got an irrigation license. Now, there, there's a lot to learn about plumbing, but Guthrie, I tell you what, man, there's nothing wrong with being an irrigation technician. I think they're phenomenal. Sean says, I'd rather uh, a license be required in the work being done a skilled professional it keeps everybody safe have you done a video about different plumbing techniques around the world i've done some Oli, i sure have tammy portadillo says i'm involved with teens in my town i encourage them to attend a trade school tammy look whenever i went in to, to belton the other day the students told me says look we watch your videos all the time it says this is how we're learning plumbing so man I, i'm glad to teach John says, Roger, uh, I'd like to be an electrician when I grow up. Are you angry because of that? No, man. Janice, we need all kinds of tradespeople. Uh, Frederick says, I like that the license is required for safety reasons. However, there should be more states that accept the other states' journeyman cards, like Idaho and Washington does. Frederick, I'll tell you what, Texas is just expanding that. Texas uh, now has recipro reciprocity with Louisiana and Arkansas. So it, it's not bad. Ryan says, I love being a plumber. Christopher says, how different is plumbing in New York compared to the rest of the country? And you know, guys, look, there's still codes that they, they, they still install toilets and lavatories and, and tubs and stuff. Your freeze line is deeper. So your water lines have to be buried deeper. There, there, there's differences like that. But man, at the end of the day, guys, man, plumbing is plumbing. Water goes downhill. Pressure makes it go wherever you want it to go. Jonas, get out. All right, so now I can go back. Uh, yeah, there you go. Now I see it. Uh, T. Grizzly, putty or silicone? Uh, I prefer putty. Sean prefers both. Well, and it depends on what for. Silicone has its place. Putty has its. But I've never seen one really where you had to choice one or the other. Here in Alberta, Canada. Started my first year as an apprentice eight months ago, feeling blessed. I love it. Hello, Chantel Hills. How are you doing? Good to see you. Austin Newman says, I really strongly consider the trades coming from a trades family. A lot of my desire lied in biology and research. I'm 50K in debt as a Bear College, ugh, 50K in debt as a Bear College graduate heading into a good job market. But sometimes looking at the debt and financial situation ahead, I wish I'd taken the trades route and slowly knocked out college. And I'll tell you what, I used to be a, a bartender in Austin. Austin. I used to be a bartender in Austin, and I think there were six bartenders, all but two of us were paying their own way through UT by attending bar. But as a bartender in the late to mid 80s, making a thousand a week in cash, it wasn't a bad gig. You can do good. Free master class. You gotta love it. T Grizzly says, I feel a sellout coming. Uh increase taking. Interesting take. I see a clever businessman who has many income strengths. Gentile, you're right. And T Grizzly, here's the thing. I've learned how to do things that that there's nobody teaching. And and think about this. And, and look, I don't I don't mind it. Uh, when I got into plumbing, I had to learn a lot of things while there weren't computers. When I got into the union, I started learning about education and growth. 
So the thing that I teach is I don't teach people how to do the trade. You know, you can learn. A, a journeyman can teach you how to put pipe together. But most of them can't teach you how to be a professional, how to be the best apprentice, how to be the best journeyman, how to start your own business, or even how to use networking and social media to grow your business. If you can do all that, I'd say start a business. There's a great opportunity there. But I have people reach out to me all the time and say, Roger, will you put something together to teach me how to do this? So, yeah, it's a great opportunity. And Chantel, you're right. Uh, clever businessman who has many income streams. And to me, wh why wouldn't I? KC says, from Pennsylvania, spent 13, 14 years as a stonemason. Got into building bridges, non-union, which is a cluster uh, of a pile of trades and great money. Amen. Nay he says, hey, Roger, quick question. Looking into getting in the trades. Roofing has sparked my interest. What's your opinion on that trade over uh, other trades? I, I tell you what, I, I think plumbing, electrical, roofing, and HVAC are, are the four best trades. I don't almost said five. I think those are the best trades. I think that you can make really, really good money there. C. Sidig says, hey, Roger, thanks for all the help and tips. I just passed my plumbing license, getting ready to start my own plumbing service company. Any advice for a new plumbing service owner? Yeah, learn a lot <coughs> and spend a lot of time learning before you open it. I literally just opened mine over a weekend. I walked out of a job on Friday, Monday morning, opened my own business. And man, there's a lot of stuff I could have learned and done. That's kind of what I teach people. But you know, the, the most important thing is, Start getting everything done right in the very beginning. S establish your systems and processes because after you start growing, it's hard to come in and change what you're doing. Start figuring it out from the very beginning. Zafael, so, welcome back, brother. Roger Wakefield, Alex Jones, or Kanye on your podcast. Yeah, you know, I don't know that <laughs> I don't know that either one of those would come, but Christopher Rito says my biology teacher in high school was a tradesman for 30 years before becoming a teacher. Look, guys, th th there's great opportunity in the trades. It's not for everybody, though, but it is something worth looking at, I promise. Tyler Carson says, Roger, how would you suggest switching from an established corporation job as a trade or to a trade as a 25-year-old? Thank you. Website looks nice. Thank you very much, Tyler. I appreciate that. Here here's what I would tell you. First of all, figure out what kind of money you've got to make. Then start looking at the trade jobs, figure out what kind of money you can make. Because once you figure that out, now you know the delta. Say the difference is $10 an hour starting out. Now you need to say, okay, I need to find a part-time job where I can make $400 a week. Maybe you drive Uber on Saturdays and make 400 bucks. I, I don't know. I don't know what kind of money they make. Maybe you drive it two or three nights a week to make additional income. I knew when I got into plumbing that I was going to have to do something different to make more money to support my family. And that's why I did what I did. But I got to tell you, I don't look back and regret it. I look back and say, thank God I did whatever it took to become what I wanted to become. Casey says, the licensing, while it has its benefits, I'm against. Uh, it's just another way for government to extract and over-regulate. And Casey, I hear that a lot. But my thing is, without regulation, anybody can walk up and knock on your door and say you're a plumber, and if they don't fix your gas right, they kill you. If they create a cross-connection, they kill you or the people in your city. So that's where I look at, Sean Strong's right, plumbers protect the health of the nation, but if you've got somebody that doesn't know what they're doing and they're out doing plumbing, they can also destroy the health of the nation. Radamus Laura says, what's the average total gross pay for plumbers? It's, it's hard to give you that uh, because nationwide it changes. I would say a good plumber, average nationwide, probably makes $30 an hour. You get into smaller areas, it's going to be a little less. You get into others, it's a little more. Sean says, Casey, I'm not in favor of government intervention, but I'm even less in favor of uneducated people getting the commute. Yep. Right with you, brother. Tyler Curran at 25 years old, just do it and don't look back. Amen. Especially, it, can you live at home? Can you live where you can make less money for a while? It can help you out. Kevin says, hey, Roger, what's the best way to get an apprenticeship 
while you're in night while in night school man go out and talk to a plumbing company tell them you, you're wanting to get in the trades but tell them look i'm going to school at night here's here's when i've got to be there is there any way to make it work i think you could find somebody make sure to take care of your body and not burn yourself out and damage yourself on the job zafael you're right enrique cardenas says can you grow a business at any age in the trades if not what's the best age to do and start i'm 21 years old just started my first as an apprenticeship eight months ago. You know, Enrique, I've seen different people do it different ways. What I would tell you is I love the idea of getting all your licenses in place first. That way you're not held at the mercy of somebody else. Are there ways you can do it right now? Yeah, you you can invest money and in, in buy the licenses, the name, the LLC, the, the CPA. You can do everything. But then you've got to hire a master plumber. And what if this master plumber just rips you off? I've seen it happen. So I would say don't get in a rush. Get in a rush about becoming better. Get in a rush about becoming the best freaking tradesman, foreman, superintendent that you can be. Because once you start doing that, that's the way you're going to do everything in your business. You're going to do it the very best. Brandon the plumber says, I installed a couple of hybrids. One thing to realize, they do not recover as fast as a normal system. Customer must be aware of that. Very interesting. Brad F says, university doesn't mean more money, doesn't mean you're smarter. It's just different. Coming from an Aussie who isn't a tradie, but works with them all the time. Thank you, brother. Robert Stevens says, total package. Yeah, 110. That's beautiful. <clears throat> Safiel says, Enrique, uh, making a business is more about having the financial uh, wherewithal and business model to make it work. You could probably start your own business at any point in the trades, and you can. Hello, Yeti. Uh, Enrique says, thank you. David Newton says, around the Minnesota area, there's a huge need for machinists, even with zero experience. Miss Lilibet Oriana, here are 10 trades where you can make 80K with no degree. Get the guide sent straight to your inbox. Y you know what? You go right there, and, and that's the link that I put in while, or is it? No, I didn't. I don't know if I can. I can't even cut and edit that to put it in there. Uh, there's the link. I'll leave that up for a second. That that will, and, and this is phenomenal, Lily Beth. Thank you. Y'all saw her a while ago on my, yeah, I can't see it now. Uh, Y'all saw her a while ago on my, my webpage. Her and Amber both. Lorenzo Martin says, Enrique, I'll tell you what, I'm going to pin that one up top. That way it's there. And I'm going to look over here. I think I'm going to shut this down. Okay, no more questions. No more questions up there. Now we're back in the live stream. Mr. Joseph Lalibert, look who jumped in. Yeah. Man, and, and I wish I could jump. I'll, I'll pin that up here in a minute. I don't know why it's not coming up over here in uh, StreamYard. Says James Butler on YouTube said it best without licenses. You don't have standards. Those standards prevent homeowners from wasting money on people. Man, good stuff, brother. Lorenzo Martin says, uh, Enrique, I second that. I'm also 21. I did work remodeling for four years. Just started my apprenticeship as a general carpenter five months ago. And definitely step in the right direction. John says, David Newton, my brother-in-law is always trying to get me to move to Minnesota and start a plumbing business. Yeah, Minnesota, thanks, but no thanks. Uh, Rogers also tried getting Sean to move to Dallas. So there's a lot there's a lot you can learn, a lot, a lot of ways you can grow here. Yeah, man, I bet. Uh, don't blame you. Thought about switching to HVAC or plumbing if my career path doesn't go how I plan. How long does it take to start making a decent wage? Yo, David, it depends on what you call a decent wage. Uh, I, I'd call around up there and just find out what the, what they're paying. You know, I, I'm still not making a decent wage. No, and, and I'm joking when I say that. I've made a good living. I just always want to do better. Joseph Yotis, good to see you in here. Just another beautiful Saturday day. <coughs> Sean says, that's tough to answer, David. I think it depends on you, uh, how fast you progress. And it depends on the boss and how they value you. And th that's why it's so smart to learn 
how to be a great tradesman. It's everything from leadership and management. There's so many different things to learn. But if you learn, man, you, number one, and you've got to be a good follower. <clears throat> the better follower you are, the more you're going to work and the closer you're going to work with foremen and superintendents. And you're going to learn the things they know and do. Hello from Serbia. Good to see you in here. Namanja, how are you? Dan says, I'm a Yankee up north. Maybe chose plumber, electrician, draw one, et cetera. Steady year-round work without the cold winter layoffs. Now, you know what, Dan? I don't know why. I just kind of always figured up there that the plumbers would take off because the ground would be too cold or hard to work in. Interesting, though. Spicy Tennis says, do you think you'll make an app one day in the future with all the information and videos there? I do think I will. Nate says, so as a 16-year-old who is already out of school, <clears throat> how should I go about getting into roofing? I have family in construction, but other trades, should I go into their field? Man, if, Nate, if, if roofing is what you want to do, what, what I do, what I tell people that want to get into any trade, <clears throat> figure out if you want to do commercial or, or residential. If you go to my my YouTube channel, there, there's a free mini course in there. Figure out if you want to do commercial or residential, service or new construction. Then start figuring out who's the biggest company in your area that does that. That's who I would want to go far to learn from. Then later you can get out and do what you want to do. John says, road trip's over. Time to start building, but I'll keep listening. Perfect, brother. And I'm getting caught up, so I'm doing good. <clears throat> Dan says, first time watching you. Love it. Respect. Dan, thank you very much, brother. I, I do appreciate you being here. Brian Haggerty says, knowledge is power. To share your knowledge and teach others empowers them to contribute to society. Guys, look, I'll, I'll tell you all this. If you like what you hear here, if you are enjoying this, do me a favor, share it. Tell other people about it, man. Take a selfie of you watching me. Post it on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, wherever. Tag me in it. Uh, Lilybet. Man. Lilybet will share it. Alyssa will share it. My team will get it out there. But, man, you never know whose life you're going to touch by showing them that there is a way to get in the trades. Niners all damn day says, I've been working crap jobs for eight years after high school. Going to sign up for roto Rooter Apprentice. Man, good for you. Okay. And Lilybet says in the description, so I'm assuming that what that means is Yep, you've got a link to the stand store in the description. Guys, you, you can go to it. Matter of fact, I think that I can copy it. I can. Check me out. So I can copy it there and just drop the post right here. There's a link to the stand store. Man, that's got a lot of my stuff. It'll tell you about a lot of stuff. It's really pretty cool. So if you else says, my problem with licensing are the same. Same barriers that they put in place. For example, needing to become a journeyman and work at the job for so many years. If it's needed, do a test like DMV. Well, you, you know, as I feel, but what they do is they got to make sure that people have the hours in to do the test. Now, this is something I fought with in Texas because I've trained people that I think in a year could go pass the master exam. I've trained people in a year that I know could pass the journeyman exam. I've trained people in a year that I know could pass the tradesman, but they require the hours that way you see things and learn things. So I'm good with it either way. Now mine just says, would you encourage people to try and fix plumbing if they think that can or better to call a plumber? Well, Namanja, I I've made videos teaching people how to fix their own plumbing. I think that's amazing. Uh, I think the fact that people can learn how to fix their own stuff, it, it, it's, it, it's, it's a thing men take pride of. I can fix things around my house. It's a thing that, you know, if, if you're married or going out with somebody, you're like, hey, honey, don't worry about that. I got it. And they're like, wow, you can fix that? It's pretty cool. Thank you, Lilybeth. And I did pin it in there. Uh, Robert John so signed up for plumbing back in high school. There was only one other kid to sign up, so they put us in the HVAC class. Uh, I learned a lot. Also took a basic welding. Dude, you're doing good. Uh, worked two years for an HVAC contractor. Then he said, I need you to start my own. Said, I need to start my own business as I did more of the custom work. He referred all custom jobs, small appliance repairs to him. Been in the business 20 years now and love it. 
always playing the gray water. Yeah, and down the spout. Yep. Man, I love that. Good story. Brad F says, thanks for the day, Roger. Enjoy the flat. I will. And there's a link to the stand store right there. Guys, go check it out. It, it really is. It is pretty freaking cool. <clears throat> Lorenzo says, there's been a recent controversy over PEX A pipes uh, degrading and cracking over time, causing a leak. What's going on? Yo, I'm afraid, Lorenzo, that, that what they're getting into is it's like the, the polybutylene used to be. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see what happens. Look at this. Got a rock star in here. Shelly saves the day. I want to pop and say hello to one of my favorite people. Shelly, great seeing you in here. Uh, you know, you want to talk about somebody that, that knows about YouTube. This is one of the top consultants that I use and call and talk to. She is phenomenal. So, Shelly, thank you very much. I love having you in here. Zafael says, uh, Lorenzo Cruzclo mostly will definitely degrade if exposed to UV. Still a good product. Haven't had trouble with it. I like that. Chris Quolo. There we go. Guys, it is perfect timing. I told y'all I need to get out of here a little bit early. I've got a flight to catch today. Man, this has been good. Uh, I do want y'all to remember that today's video is sponsored. Today's video is sponsored by Ferguson. Now, we teamed up with Ferguson because of everything they do for plumbers, everything they do for the trades, everything they do for the communities that we're in. Uh, man, it's really neat to get to work with them. I love it. And Joseph, I don't know why your, why your super chat did not come up over on Restream. I normally pin those up top there, and I didn't even see it over here. Uh, so anyway, look, it is good seeing you in here as always. Uh, and, and man, I, I love your comment. All right. Let me head back down to the bottom here and get ready to get out of here. Guys, this has been a fun day. I like it. We're fixing to start doing some cool stuff on Saturdays. I'm fixing to get some grills and smokers outside. I just installed a safe out in the shop that we're keeping bourbon and tequila in. Maybe a few guns. But we're fixing to start doing sipping Saturdays. And I do. I love this. I, I want y'all to come hang out. Any of y'all that ever want to come to Dallas for it, let us know in advance. Because we're literally really going to be cooking. Might be sipping a little something out there every now and then. But, but the cool thing is, man, we're going to invite people to come hang out here at the, at, back in the shop. We're setting it up where we can shoot from the studio, the shop, and out back while we're smoking or cooking on the grill. So we're going to be doing some cool stuff. So if y'all are ever in this area and want to come by, please reach out and let us know. Mariposa says, I worked in a building supply store and have worked on my place from the skills I learned while there. Also really helped with landlords teaching them what might be an issue have been right and have been right. Absolutely. Basis, thanks for all the info. Uh, regardless, one last question. Will my GED hinder any job opportunities? Nay, it, it shouldn't. Uh, in Texas, if you quit school, they would allow you to get your GED to get your license. So, no, you should be fine. Enrique Cardenas says, thank you, Roger. Appreciate your advice. Thank you for being in here. <clears throat> Mariposa Violeta says, also have sent landlords to your channel to get information. Good for you. Guys, again, thank you, Ferguson. I do appreciate y'all sponsoring me and letting us do the things that we do. Guys, I'm going to be doing a video here in a week or two releasing it about a heat pump water heater. It's something I've never installed, so I'm really excited about it and interested in, in it, looking forward to it. Uh, Kelly Lewis says, I'd love to come hang out and visit. It's only a four hour drive from me in Oklahoma. Cool deal. Kel L says, are you in Plano or Richardson? I'm actually in Richardson, just Northeast of the Dallas area. So guys, once again, thank you all for being in here. I do appreciate it. Come back next Saturday. We'll be here for sipping Saturday. Again, thank you to Ferguson for sponsoring this. This video is sponsored by them and we love working with them. Anyway. I'm Roger Wakefield, Lead AP.
the expert plumber. I'll see you in the next video if you don't get flushed.